political fallout for Joe Masha continues this morning with a big meeting that could affect his future. Forget about it. Forget it. Well, it all started with that audio recording released last week in it. Buffalo Municipal Housing Authority Commissioner Joe Masha using racial slurs to describe several local elected officials. Today, it could cost him his job. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Alzafon tracking this story for us at the digital desk. Yeah, Laura, Housing Authority Board has already met unanimously demanding Mash's resignation. Today, it's the residents who meet, and of course, that recording expected to come up. Yeah, what about the mayor? Uh, he's part of it. They're his appointees. They're all part of his group. What is he? Uh, this all comes on the heels of that recording released in which Masha calls Mayor Brown and other African American leaders in Buffalo the N word, even though Masha refuses to step down as housing commissioner. According to the Buffalo News, the Housing Authority's Ethics Committee has less than one month to decide if his language violated any policies. Mayor Brown, who was mentioned in the recording, could also appoint a special officer to conduct a review. To have such contempt for people of color that would come through with him using the N-word numerous times in just what is a casual conversation. Um, it's just indescribable. No excuse. I'm not trying to make an excuse for anything. I said something. It was wrong. I've apologized. Now, Masha says he would leave his elected position if residents ask him to, but he doesn't think that would happen. The commissioner also running for common council right now against council member Franzik. He refuses to step aside from that race. Now, this morning's meeting begins at 10 o'clock. Coming up in the next half hour, hear from a resident who lives on Marine Drive. She's actually represented by the commissioner. Live from the digital desk, Rachel Elzevan, 7 Eyewitness News. Masha's political future appears to be struggling in the fallout as well as campaign manager resigning over the weekend after hearing that recording. She says she felt she could no longer represent him. The main reason that I decided to pull out of the race is because I was assisting and or helping a candidate that used racially derogatory terms and um, whether he realizes it or not that in essence is a, is, is a racist. And despite Martin's resignation and calls for Masha to quit the race, he has shown no signs of pulling out of the campaign.